That's right, boys and girls. You see it right here on Gamers Platoon. We have early access to the Medal of Honor beta. So sit back, get ready to check out some gameplay footage from the open beta running until October 15th. Gamers Platoon is bringing it to you first. Well, we're probably not the first, but we're one of the first ones in there. So sit back and enjoy the film. Uh, we're going to cover some of the classes, some of the uh, special forces groups that you get when you uh, play the beta here. And, See what uh, Medal of Honor has got in store after their huge letdown from last year. At uh, I mean, it's two years ago now. That game was horrible, and uh, hopefully this game will be better. We'll check it out. All right, guys. First thing we're gonna look at here is the My Soldier tab. This is where you can choose your nationality. Um, I've already picked the U.S. guy, but we'll run through some of the ones that are on here. Uh, we're starting out with the U.S. OGA assault rifle um, in here. Um, gives you a short description about what they are, what they're good with, what kind of equipment that they come with. Um, so you see the next one we have here is the Canadian Joint Task Force Assaulter. Uh, again, some more information on them. Uh, I can't unlock these because I've already picked one. Um, I believe that's going to be, if I can... Um if I can remember correctly, that's going to be the, the Japanese. If not, excuse me, um, I have no clue what a ROKN is. Um, moving on, we got the Norwegian Assaulter. Uh, you'll see it doesn't actually change the uniform at the time because I'm, I'm stuck with my, um, with my American guy. No offense, America. Uh, we have the U.S. Navy SEAL. We have the Russian Spetsnaz. The Polish Grom Unit. Again, as you see, no change here, um, but still uh, tells you what kind of gear that they come with uh, by default and gives you a little bit of background on them. Um, then you have the Special Forces uh, for U.S., that's the SFOD Delta, um, the German KSK, uh, which is uh, actually a pretty cool, um, pretty cool unit there. I wish I will probably would have picked them. Uh, then we have the British SES. Uh, these guys are basically just like cannon fodder because they're British units. No good in combat. Uh, the Australian SAS, which is uh, a lot better at combat, but still pretty much cannon fodder considering, uh, you know, they're pretty much half British. Um, then you have the Swedish SOG. Uh, these guys are going to be pretty badass as well. Uh, they always pretend like they're neutral, but uh, don't let their special forces group after you. So that's... Um, that takes care of the characters. Um, sorry, I can't show you all of them. Uh, it's locked me in. Maybe if I can unlock some more uh, later on, then we will show you what uh, what exactly we can do with that. But we'll hop in here and select this unit and look at the different types of soldier that you can have. Um, you have your sniper, currently locked for me. The SFOD Assaulter, which is the one that I picked, getting me this um, nice assault rifle here. Pretty decent. Uh, the demolitions expert and each one, like I said, um, comes with a, a couple different pieces of equipment. Um, you have, oh, excuse me, you'll have the um, next one here, which is the heavy gunner. Can call in the offensive um, packages. Then we have the point man. Took your shotgun explosive demolitions kind of guy, but not quite the demolitions expert. Um, and then we have the ever stealthy spec ops, uh, which takes care of your long range support and your um, recon, that kind of stuff. So, this is the units and the uh, playable characters within this unit. As I said, this is the Army um, OGA spec ops. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, move on and take a look at the mic. All right, guys, you'll note for this open beta, um, they have quite a few weapons here. Uh, the one I currently have unlocked is this um, H&K 416 for the SFOD. Get a zoom in there. Um, basically what the My Weapon is allows you to customize the weapon in-game or out-of-game. I'll show you the in-game options uh, a little bit later on. Um, we'll move on here. We'll select this weapon. Once we have the weapon selected, we'll have the ability to change optics. We can cycle through different types of powers of optics um, depending on what we have unlocked from your iron sights, red dots, uh, magnified holographics, and then your long range um, optics here. Once you have an optics chosen, you can choose the barrel assembly, which is the things that go on the front of the weapon. Um, you can have the short 
um, pistol gripped uh, front. You have the uh, laser dot, which is the one I'm using. Um, you also have the ability to put on the uh, peck with the under barrel um, flashlight. Uh, always a fan favorite for you Battlefield 3 guys. Once you have that, you can choose the muzzle option. See here we have a muzzle brake currently installed, but you can do uh, mini suppressors, large suppressor, uh, muzzle brake, flash hider. Um, they don't have it really optimized right now because the menu kind of overlays the actual weapon on this part, but still good to know that it's there. Then we have the receiver group, um, which is the basically the back end of the weapon. Uh, you have a couple different types of stocks that you can choose and put on here. Got your short one for, um, you know, basically your collapsed, uh, mainly for CQB. Then you have your medium sized stock. Then you have your extended stock for long range, that kind of stuff. It's a pretty cool customizable option. I actually like that uh, feature in the game. It's always nice to have a customizable stock. It means a lot on a real weapon. Um, then you have your uh, magazine type. You have different types of magazines. You'll see this one here is uh, 30 round Grom 556. The uh, next one we have is the 30 round standard and then the Magpul. Um, which I'm not exactly sure what these do. What I would assume they do is um, adjust your round strength and reload times. I would assume if you have the mag pull that your gun may reload a little faster. Don't quote me on that. I haven't been able to figure that one out at the moment. Um, yeah, so the last thing that we have here is the paint job. Everybody's favorite if you're a Call of Duty player. Uh, it sets the weapon down here and then you have different paint schemes uh, to choose from. Unfortunately, I have none unlocked of these mini paint schemes that you see here. So, no paint scheme for me. We're going to back on out and um, we will hop in game.
Thank you. 